Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making curried favor of the old gods from the Necronom Nom 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 cookbook, which is a slow cooker sweet potato chicken curry. The ingredients we're going to need are two chicken breasts, one, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, as well as two cloves of garlic that I've done a really rough mince on, three-fourths cup of water, one tablespoon of sugar, three tablespoons of a sweet curry powder, one teaspoon of salt, a half of a teaspoon of ground coriander, and one teaspoon of ground turmeric. We're also going to need one sweet onion, about a medium size, diced into about one inch cubes. I've also got about four uh, pickled beets that I've gone ahead and diced up. We're going to need uh, two cans of coconut milk as well as three sweet potatoes that I've gone ahead and peeled and diced into about one inch cubes. And I just have them sitting here in some cold water to prevent browning. So all we need to do is move all these out of our way and bring in our slow cooker base. Now I've already gone ahead and buttered the inside with about an additional three tablespoons of butter. So our inside is already buttered up and it says we just need to oh, lay our chicken breasts inside right there on the bottom. And get that bowl out of the way. And then we need to add in our water and our two cans of chicken, or our two cans of coconut milk. I like to shake these up really well before I open them up. If I can get them open, there we go. See if we can get that side, there we go. I really like slow cooker meals. I can get them started early in the morning and let them cook all day while I'm busy doing a bunch of other things. Okay, we can get rid of that one, shake this one up. And plus it makes your house smell really good, especially if you've gone out and then you come back home and your dinner's been slow cooking all day. The house always smells so good. All right, so there's our two cans of coconut milk. Get that out of our way. And the next thing we need to do is combine our butter, garlic, and spices as well as our sugar. So actually I'm going to go ahead and just start mashing down the butter and getting it combined a little bit with that garlic. I'm just going to add in our sugar as well as all of our spices. And we're going to just combine all these together. All right, so one thing we do want to make sure that we do is we come in and we lift our chicken breasts up just to make sure that the milk and water get up underneath of them so that they don't burn and stick to the bottom of our slow cooker base. Now all we need to do is start dumping in our spices as well as our butter and garlic. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and stir that together so we can get those nicely incorporated in. And I'm just kind of using the chicken to help stir that along. And as this cooks, that butter is going to melt and those spices are going to really mix in 
nicely with all the ingredients that are going in here. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump in my onion and my beets. I don't want to stir too much with the beets in there. I don't want to turn it totally red. I'm just going to make sure that they do get mixed around a little bit. And let me drain my sweet potatoes really quick. And these are going to go right in on top. And I'm just going to go ahead and go in and kind of smush them around so that they can be da submerged down into the coconut milk. But I do want to try and keep those up on top as they do kind of cook a little bit quicker than the chicken. See, what I want to cook first I have towards the bottom of my pot while the things that I want to cook a little bit slower are up on the top of it. All right, guys, I think that looks really good. So now all we need to do is put this into our slow cooker uh, heating part and let it cook for six to eight hours on low or four to six hours on high. And I will see you guys when this is done. All right, guys, it's been five hours since we put our chicken into the slow cooker and our curry is done. I'm simply serving it over a bed of white jasmine rice. So let's get in here and give it a taste, see what we think about it. Get down there and get some of that rice in there. Maybe a little bit of the potato. Mm. This is actually pretty good. If I was a huge curry fan, I think I would like this a little bit more than what I do. It's definitely not a spicy curry. It's more on the sweet side. Definitely not overwhelming. The sweet potatoes are really good in this. I do like them a lot. The beets have um, lost a little bit of their pickled flavoring, but overall they add a brightness to the dish that I think it needs. I will definitely be making this dish again for my family as they are huge curry lovers. Alright guys, so there you have it. This has been the curried favor of the old gods or slow cooker sweet potato and chicken curry. Before I end the video, I would like to say a very special thank you to I Am A Life Of Dreads. He's been a longtime supporter of the channel, and today I am rocking one of his t-shirts. So I kind of wanted to stop and say a few words about his channel. He is an amazing content creator, does a wide variety of video games. If you guys are into The Witcher, Death Stranding, Uncharted, or even the Resident Evil series, plus GTA, I believe, and many, many other games that are just too numerous to mention. Why don't you guys go over there and check him out, maybe leave him a cheeky little follow. He is somebody I find extremely motivational and kind of pushes me to be a better person, a better friend, a better supporter, a better content creator, and someone that I look up to and respect quite a bit. So if you guys have liked this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as my other cookbook playlists. I will leave links down in the description to them. But for now, as always, thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one. I'm sorry.